Hello, my name is Morgan McQuaffey, and I'm an elementary general music teacher. Today, I'm going to be sharing seven books that I use for vocal exploration in the elementary music classroom. The first book on my list for vocal exploration is La 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 by Katie DiCamillo. This book is so unique and has so many applications in the elementary general music classroom. I love that this book only uses the word la. So some pages are completely wordless, whereas others have different phrases of la la la. This is great because for vocal exploration, students can follow the pictures or they can also follow the phrasing of the words. I love to pair this with listening reflections. I will either play a piece of music for the students and they follow along, or sometimes I will ask them if they have ideas of what songs would go well with this book. The second book I use for vocal exploration is Roller Coaster by Marla Frazee. This book is super fun for students, and when we do vocal exploration, a lot of times I like to use words that you would think about when you're riding a roller coaster, like ah or woo, and we use those as we follow along the track with our finger and we do roller coaster vocal exploration. I also love to pair this book with another video on YouTube called Music Synchronized Roller Coaster by a channel called Doodle Chaos. It is so fun to have students feel like they're riding a roller coaster after reading this story. The third book on my list for vocal exploration is Ginger Snap Snatcher by Vicki Weber. Vicki Weber is a music educator who has recently started creating books specifically for the elementary general music classroom. This book is all about different vocal exploration patterns that you can find on each page as the kids are trying to solve a mystery. In this picture, you can see that the different lines are coming from the smell of the ginger snap cookies, whereas in other pages, sometimes it's a phone cord or a string of lights, and my students always love trying to find the vocal exploration lines that we do. This book also comes with an ostinato that you can sing, or you can pair it with the song Who Took the Cookie from the Cookie Jar and pair it up with that game or any seasonal winter activity. I highly recommend this book. The fourth book I use for vocal exploration is Hide and Snake by Keith Baker. This book is a student favorite every year. This book is all about trying to find the snake in each picture. And as you can see, it gets pretty tricky because the snake winds its way into different objects that can kind of resemble a snake. So students love going through each page and trying to identify the snake and then do different vocal explorations with the different types of movement. So for example, doing vocal exploration with the different ribbons on the present. This book is great to pair with a song like Black Snake, and you can play a hidden object game just like you were trying to find the snake. So again, my students love this book. I highly recommend it. Your kindergartners are going to be asking for days about it. The fifth book I use for vocal exploration is I See a Song by Eric Carle. I See a Song is a beautiful Eric Carle book. The illustrations are completely wordless except for some narration on the very first page. I love to use this book for vocal exploration, but I also like to use it for listening and coloring activities. So I'll play different songs and have students color in the style of Eric Carle. I also sometimes like to show them some Itzhak Perlman performances because I like to think that the narrator on the first page looks like him. The sixth book I use for vocal exploration is Lost Found by Marsha Diane Arnold. This book is so charming and funny and I love showing it to my students. This book is all about a scarf that keeps getting lost and found again in different ways. You can see in the picture there's opportunity for vocal exploration as also some movement as we can see with our beaver friend twirling the scarf on his head. I love to pair this book with movement activities using scarves and we can replicate some of the pictures we see in the book as well as come up with our own interpretations. The seventh book I use for vocal exploration is The Man with the Violin by Kathy Stinson. This book is based on a real life event when professional musician Joshua Bell played in a Washington, D.C. subway station for 45 minutes without being recognized or acknowledged. I love this book because it shows visually how the violin playing is really smooth and beautiful lines for vocal exploration, and it contrasts the sounds of the subway, which are very sharp and jagged in the book. 
you can pair this book with a real life interview from Joshua Bell talking about this event, or you could also show other videos of different street performers. If you're looking for more ways to explore pitch, you can check out the Book of Pitch Exploration by John M. Feyerabend. Thank you so much for checking out my video, and feel free to leave a comment and let me know what other books you would like me to talk about. Thank you.